Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Earthbound. In the last part, we started this monkey cave where we kept on giving food and items to different monkeys so we could go down through because they were blocking ways, like doorways like this, you know, but like, of course, you know, monkeys were blocking it. Let's start this monkey real quick. Okay, I love Talarama the most. Uh, he is a friend of the monkeys. Here is a song I made for Talarama. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to use the pencil ratio on this thing now. I'm just in Jeff's inventory. Um, there is a couple items that I should actually just... I need space for three new items. So... I don't think I need the handbag strap, so I'm gonna give it that. Drop that. And then the great charm I do not need. So I'll just drop that too. I could sell it, but... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't think I need the roasted promoter or the tube. Or the broken tube. Well, I can just take drop the rest from over actually, and that should be good. Yeah, so use the pencil eraser like I was planned on doing. Use okay, let's use the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Yay! Now I can get through. Oh, here's a magic butterfly. Nice. There's this weird guy who has like a weird like froyo hat. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, nest up in the chest. Whoa! There's a brain food lunch inside. Nest takes it. And then nest up in another chest. Okay. Whoa! It's a couple of life noodles inside. Okay, that's actually really good because you're gonna revive someone who's collapsed. You know, they're like a couple of life noodles. So that's good. Um, I think that brain food lunch. Um, it restores like 300 HP of your party, I believe, and 50 PP. If you launch when eat then you recover about oh just one person actually. Okay, so when you when it's eaten you recover about three hundred HP three hundred HP and about fifty PP. That's actually really good for this point of the game. I'm probably gonna save that for later because we don't really need to use it that that right now honestly because we could it could be a more benefit to us later, I believe. So let's just go let's just go with that. Let's talk to you. Okay, the truth in space and time moves through the universe like a wave. Truth speaks through space and matter and makes itself known to human beings. It was waiting for you. I was waiting for you and you came. This was destined to happen. In truth, all is predetermined. Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. When these four powers gather, twisted space will bring peace to the world. Will bring back peace to the to the world. Do you understand? It doesn't matter. Proceed as you wish. Open the treasure box and take what is inside for you with you. That's what I kind of already did. Did you come to search, in search of this? Someone left this behind in this hole. Yeah, it's probably our yogurt. Yeah, it's a yogurt dispenser. Nice. Jeff got the yogurt dispenser. The adventure that lies ahead won't be easy. I'll give you a special skill to help make. To help you move through space as you wish. Learn the skill from the monkey over there. Would you like to learn this special power? Yes, of course. Ha ha ha. That's wonderful. I'll speak to the monkey over there. Okay, let's talk to you then. Uh, the chest was empty. Okay, uh, yeah, if you check it again, it'll be empty after you take whatever's out, whatever is out of it. Okay, I'll teach you the t I'll teach you teleportation. Let's go outside. And you have to literally like leave the dungeon, and then the monkey will beat you basically. Um, when you get out there, because your monkeys are faster, I guess, and you got a head start. So let's just avoid these enemies if we can, and uh, make your way outside the dungeon. Now, I'm not going to go back into the other rooms I missed with treasures. I think I covered most of the um, funny dialogue, and uh, I think I'll just pass on it, really. I just want to get out of this dungeon, because the music is kind of getting annoying, honestly. <laughs> just a little bit. And we're going to avoid this... Uh, shroom guy, or the evil mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Just making a way out. Okay, there's the ladder. Nice. We're almost out. Awesome. Okay, let's talk to you. All the magical butterflies over there. Let's grab it. So I don't run into any, any more enemies, though. I think it's. Yeah, okay, 113, that's cool. 113 PP for Ness, nice. Cool, let's talk to this monkey again. It's the same monkey as I saw in the dungeon. Strategy, just teleportation. Follow me like this way. Okay, let's follow you. And you make it, he, he, he slash she, I don't want to assume it's gender, but it wants us to, um, it kind of checks up on us so we don't 
so it doesn't run too far ahead. So yeah, um, okay, let's, I'll do the teacher's demonstration. I'll do a teacher's demonstration. If you can, if you can learn this, you can go anywhere you've been previously. You can go there instantly. This skill can be used in a, can't be used in a room or underground, though. Interesting. Okay, get it, okay, let's go. Boom! I like the sound it makes, you know, when you do it. That's pretty cool. Awesome. I went to Foresight and returned. So I showed you the basic straight course, but you can also build up enough speed without turning. If you don't have enough room. Okay. Okay, why don't you try, young man? I kind of did it automatically right there. I think it does it automatically. I'm not sure. Next learned how to use PSI teleportation. I think it's just PSI teleport basically. So yeah. Great. Okay, the teacher is going home now. <laughs> okay. So if you look at our PSI now, you can use PSI teleport. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Alpha. It only costs two PP. So let's use it. We can actually go to Onet, Tucson, Thweed, Southern Valley, Foresight, and Winters. But um we don't have for some reason, they don't have Happy Happy Town in this list, but that's okay. Let's go to, um, Foresight. Neom. Sonic Speed. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see, do I have any uh, items? Oh, I could use... So... I could sell a couple items, actually. I want to get this butterfly, though. Let's see, 111 HP, do I? It'll go to 131, or... We'll see in a second, actually. Because it always destroys 20 HP. 20 HP, I mean. Yeah, it's okay, my, my max is 113, okay. Cool. Yeah. Because they had to use 2 PP, so 120... 113 minus 2 is 111, that's why I had 111. And then I got that... Uh, Magic Butterfly to restore back to 113. Because I was missing 2 PP, because they used PSI Teleport. Nice. Oh no, there's a sign that came out. Oh no. I'm just trying to find the department store, really. Yep. Bass and shoot, I guess. No. Although, Jeff can't do anything. Dang it. Oh my gosh. This is, this is bad. Wow, that's really bad, actually. Okay, next game is a good level 43. Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, guts went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 3, max HP went up by 2. Cool. But, uh... Yeah. Jeff and Ness are paralyzed. I don't think there's an ATP... AT, AT, uh, there's a, um... I don't think there's an ATM in the, um... Hospital, which kind of stinks. So we're gonna have to go all the way back around. We're gonna have to heal up our paralysis. All because that stupid sign had to use freaking paralysis. That, that makes me mad, honestly. Hi, oh, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Withdrawal. Yeah, let's see here. Withdrawal. Two hundred dollars, I guess. Yeah. Okay. They walk in like they're kind of skating too, because they're both paralyzed right now. But I'll fix that when I go to the hospital. You just have to be a big old jerk, don't you? The stupid sign. I didn't even get that. I forgot the enemy's name for that sign, but uh, it sucks because it just caused. You know, all of us pain. Because it's under Guy Gas's control and it wants to hurt us so badly. And it paralyzed us in the end. You know, it's not. You know, you could you could have just attacked me. Well, you attacked Jeff and Ness. So, I don't know. 
Let's see, Jeff Decay, yes, okay. Let's store fuel in, yes, who needs a nest, and then we'll do Jeff next. Can I do my Jeff with what? Okay, let's just, let's just do it again. No, not soften. I, I actually clicked too fast, so that sucks. I have to read his dialogue again, I'm just kidding. I don't mind reading his dialogue again, I'm having to scroll through his dialogue. But, uh, let's just get, let's take care of business, I guess. And they're both not paralyzed anymore, so that's good. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find the department store. I think it's over here somewhere. If you talk to this guy, your boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Montoli, aren't you? I'll catch you boys doing any. If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No question to ask. Be prepared. I got it, Ness. Ha ha ha. I've already checked out your name. No oh, man, he knows who I am. He knows who Ness is. Ah. Okay, we'll talk to this girl outside when we get out of this department store. I just want to sell some items and stuff. Okay, so I just got a phone call, you know. Nothing too big. I think we talked to her. Turn something. Um... I guess this is like the same thing as selling your items, so... Let's see here... Let's see, Jeff's inventory is more like, I wanna sell stuff. Um... I'll sell the broken tube, but sorry, I can't... Okay, fine. Fine. That makes sense, though. Wet towel, then. Yes, okay. And what else? Um, the hamburger. I think that's it, but let me just double check. Yeah, that's good, okay. Just sell those two items, I guess. Okay, cool. Still have 100, now we have $145 in our pocket. Nice. So let's talk to this uh, person right here. I'll keep asking around for... I kept asking around for a trophy for yogurt, but... What? You have a yogurt dispenser? May I have it? Before you could answer, she took the yogurt dispenser. She <laughs> snatched out of her hands, you know? <laughs> out of her inventory or something, you know? Now I can make truffle for yogurt for my guests. You are so kind. I'll make something for you. So for you. Yeah, it was it was originally our, you know, yogurt dispenser, but then you just took it from us. My room's on the 48th floor. Don't forget to drop by. My room is on the 40th point. You just, you just repeat yourself. Okay? You just repeat yourself. You know, that, that's kind of annoying. Honestly. So let's actually go up to the elevator then. Let's talk to the person who runs the elevator. This elevator is only for, uh, is only for Master Pokey's use. Uh, it goes directly to the 40th floor. Quit staying on my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of beh behind me? And I go up to that elevator. Nice. It's cool. Okay, cool. I can just go up to the 40th floor. I think we have to go up one more floor, so it's, I think we have to use this elevator. So yeah, shh, quiet on your nest. Mr. Montoya made, uh, ex Electra, um, told me about you. I'm gonna take you to Mr. Montoya's office on the 40th floor. Only you may go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna end the part here though, so I'm gonna actually start the episode, uh, the next part, I mean, the next part, right here, I believe. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and, uh, he, uh probably rest up the, yeah, do I have to, no, I don't really have to rest up the hotel, but, um, I'm gonna save off screen, so yeah, this is gonna my birth final episode part, the next part will take on the 40th floor, which lies behind the store, and <laughs> that rhymed, unintentionally, I didn't mean to rhyme there, <laughs> And hopefully get some frozen yogurt from our old, uh, yogurt dispenser that, you know, electric kind of just took from us. Yeah. Okay, so this has been Jaco again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys next time on Earthbound Let's Play.